Hey guys, all right, we're back. Uh, we're gonna do more uh, continuous line art, but this time we're gonna be adding yarn. All right, we're gonna use yarn because it is a line, right? And we can make it continuous or intermittent, however we wanna make it, but we're gonna do continuous. So um, I'm gonna do something kind of fall theme. So just off of, uh, let's see. We'll do a, uh, a pumpkin, all right? So I'll do a pumpkin. And as always, I like to do a kind of a concept drawing first. All right, you could do this. And um, you could do a big one or you could do little thumbnails. I'm just gonna do one right here because I already kind of know what I want to do. So I did a pumpkin. Uh, but I still need to plan out where the line's gonna go, okay? So, and where it's gonna start and finish. So I think I'll have it kind of start out here. And the vine is kind of shriveled up at the end. All right, so it's a little bit more natural. And now I need to plan out the flow, okay? So I'm going to darken the line just a bit just to show where it's where it's beginning and where it's gonna go from there. So as always, the first drawing that you do should be pretty light. It should be a light drawing lines. And then from there, you can darken them as you figure out where your next lines will go according to your plan. And you could always change that. I'm gonna bring this line down and make the ground. Just like that. All right. So now let's get our yarn. Yarn here. All right. And of course, we're gonna need something to stick it down to. So I have glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on my, on my line, tracing over it with the glue. Now, you don't need a whole lot of glue, but you wanna have enough so that it's not gonna dry up on you when you lay down your yarn. And you could always reapply it. Try to get it where you want it. Just tracing. All right, let's glue up, and now let's do it. So little by little, we're just gonna bring it down into our design. Try not to let the the string touch the glue until you you have it in position. You can see I'm just kind of gently tapping on it as it lays down. Yeah, and you know, it's pretty neat when the light hits it in different ways after you get done. Because you get some shadows, you get highlights, and that's pretty cool. If your glue is not exactly on your line, I'm just gonna put it over to the side, then just kind of smear it around until it covers the line. move that glue where you need it to be. And again, if it dries up, then just reapply it and come back later. Now 
And the nice thing about using yarn as well, I know it could get a little messy and if you make a mistake, you know, you may get a little upset, but don't give up because in the end, you're going to be really happy with your work. What's neat about the yarn too is that you're not gonna really cross over the same line, you know? Like where, when you're doing it with your pen, a lot of the times it's tempting to cross over the same line. But with this, you're pretty much always gonna remember not to. And if you do, hey, cool, you know? Um, that's not like a set in stone rule. Like you can't cross over the same line. It's just you don't want to hide a line by continually going over the line to hide it. You know, it, in continuous line uh, style, you you want to be able to see the abstract quality. You don't want it to make it, you know, too realistic. And a lot of times that's tempting to do, to go over the same line and hide the line. It'd be almost impossible to hide the line with yarn. All right, almost done. And my glue's not dried out yet, yet yay. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do artistically with such little amount of uh, supply or fund, you know, you don't have a whole lot of funds, you don't have a lot of supply, you can still do a lot of really neat art, amazing art. A lot of times when you go to the craft store and you see the the stuff that they're selling. Well, when I go there, I see some of these crafts and I say, well, I can do that, right? But it gives you ideas. All right. So that's pretty much that. Um, we do have some lines that we need to hide right in here. So just come back, take a look at it again. Make adjustments to your yarn. Make readjustments if you need to, to hide the line, the pencil line. And a little up here. Uh, all right, not too shabby, not too shabby. 